Carnival. Now, the double-decker buses and black cabs in Trafalgar Square were joined by a speedier form of public transport today, hovercraft. It may be the ideal way to beat the London traffic, but its main function was to promote a new service on the internet to encourage overseas trade. We sent Lucy Allerton along to find out more. As publicity stunts go, it wasn't a bad idea, but maybe it was the fact that it was dwarfed by Nelson's column, but it did seem rather, well, smaller than expected. Tourists were puzzled, and so too were assembled journalists, especially when told it was there to promote a new internet site. The campaign we're launching today um, is to get more and more companies signed up uh, under the banner of Trade UK um, to uh, the internet, uh, and then they will get immediate communication with every lead from every embassy around the world. As the minister amused himself being driven around the square, a few yards away, the serious business of promoting the new website was underway. The idea is that British firms are encouraged to use the internet to sell their business abroad. Driven Hovercraft uh, was able to secure orders for their Hovercraft by simply registering their details free of charge on the Trade UK site and uh, getting opportunities to win business from overseas buyers without ever leaving their desks. The company which made this craft was one of the first to sign up to the new service. It hopes to use it to sell to Brazil. And let's face it, it won't find many customers here. Lucy Atherton, Newton South East, on a hovercraft in the middle of Trafalgar Square. If you're still talking about pedestrianising Trafalgar Square, that would soon clear the cars. Wouldn't <laughs> it? I think I saw her coming into work on that, actually, yeah. later on. Good idea. That.